Welcome back for Castagram tutorial series. Today we're going to do delete. So here with this uh, delete thing, we have very specific things that I'm going to show you. But first, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel because I think that it's a lot of value there. Uh, so if we continue to doing our application, here we can see that maybe if we go to a cat info, we'll be able to delete this cat. Of course, we're going to do that if we are owner of this post, we are able to delete it, or if we are min, we can delete it. Otherwise, if the post does not belong to us and we are not admin to this application, we're not going to be able to delete people's posts, right? So now I'm going to generate, not to generate, but just to add something uh, in our list cat. So here, I'm going to say we're going to have a button with class which will be btn btn dash danger. Um, please note that I'm using Bootstrap right now, so these are Bootstrap classes, Bootstrap four classes. If it does not work properly in your application, that means that you haven't added Bootstrap. So be aware of that. I'm going to say that here we are going to have delete button. And if I check my application here, you can see that I have this delete button. So if I go and click that, nothing is going to happen. Of course, we have to bind our HTML to our code. So I'm going to say here that I want to bind a click event to function, which will be delete cat. If I go and create this function in my component, I'm going just to console log that we have successfully bind this to our code. I'm going to say no, it doesn't matter what you're going to say here. So I'm going to click the button and as you can see we have hello. How many times I'm going to click that? Well, whatever I want. So here I'm going to call a service of course. But first I need to create a function. Again, in my cat service, I'm going to create a function which is called delete cat. And here I'm going to call, of course, this dot HTTP dot delete. How do I know it's delete? Well, I'm using Swagger. And here, as you can see, I have this cat slash ID. And if I go and specify the ID, I'm going to be able to delete this cat. So here I'm going to say this dot cat path. And the interesting part again here that I have to have this ID in order to call the backend. So I'm going to describe a parameter called ID. And here I'm going to concatenate this with slash without the space. And after that, I'm going to put the ID. The question is where I'm going to get this ID. Well, of course, when I'm calling this function here, my service here, this dot cat service dot delete cat, I'm going to subscribe to this. And the interesting part here will be something else, but in a minute I'm going to show it. So here I have to put my ID, where I'm going to get this ID from. Well, here from list cats, I have a lot of cats <coughs> listed with ng4. So I have bind cat.id. In cat details, we have done that. So it's not a really big surprise how we can achieve that. But here I'm going to put in my function cat.id. Of course, I have to describe the parameter here because something is expecting uh, to have a parameter. And I'm going to put that here in my delete cat id. So I'm going just to console log the result. It's not neat if you're using the network always to console log your, your results. I'm just doing that um, because I want to show you what is our response and how we can be more okay with the code. It does not need, it does not require to do that. So I'm going to say, um, let's say the result. And the result will be nothing interesting but let's try this if i go and click in the network 
this delayed. As you can see here, I have a response which is 200, okay, right? And if I go to my response, you can see that I don't have a content. If I go to console, you will see that I have no from list cats. Um, the row is 25. If I go here and check, it is row 25. And of course, I, do, I don't have anything because I don't have a response in this case. I just have a status, which is 200. Of course, the status can vary. Uh, it can be 204, no content, or it can be 200, okay, doesn't matter. But we have a really big problem right now. And the problem is that this cat is still here, but it's deleted, right? So how is it possible to stay here? Well, we have this thing that we have rendered something, and we have rendered it, and because it's not a dynamic thing, we have once rendered it, and after that, when we are not calling it again, it's just displaying the cache, right? So if I refresh that, you're going to see that we have just three cats. But how we can achieve that without making a user manually going and refreshing the page? So there are a couple of options here, but the really good option is just to call once again the service. For getting all cats and once you get all the cats again you're binding to this angular hook of re-rendering the html again and because it has the new value which will be just an array of three objects it's going to rent just these three objects which are available so i'm going to extract this function and i'm going to say here fetch cats or get cats or whatever you want. In this function fetch cats, I'm going to paste my logic and I'm just going to call this dot fetch cats function here in ng on init. And once I have deleted this successfully, I want to call this again this dot fetch cats. Let me try one more time and to see if it's going to work properly. I'm going to delete let's say this cat. And I'm going to say delete. As you can see, we have the proper information right now for the delete. Okay, of course, here you can do a lot of things like uh, when we click the button, a pop up appears and say, Are you sure you want to delete this cat? Yes, I'm sure. So it is going to remove when you click yes on, or confirm button on this pop up. Of course, it's your choice how to do it, but this is the logic behind. How can you do it in Angular? Okay. So uh, that was the video for delete. If you find this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe. You already know the procedure. And if you're Bulgarian, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to explain this week how we can make Python closures there. Bye.